This is the Geneva Shore Report coming to you from downtown Lake Geneva and what used to be the beach, but is now a little flat uh, country ski area. <laughs> we are covered by about a half inch of snow. More on the way till about noon when it turns into rain, they tell me, in the weather report. Anyway, we are here on... It is Tuesday morning, November 24th, 2020. I'm Lisa Otto, and, and George Belushi, Jr. And the Geneva Shore Report. Good, Good morning. morning. Okay, we are. Uh, I was watching the baby, and oh, anyway. yeah. he hangs he's around. Cute. Yeah, little yeah. tiny babies. All right. Okay, we are here for the news report, and actually, we have a lot going on. We, we have fresh snow on the ground, which is lovely for the holiday season. Um, should we get right into the meetings last Absolutely. night? Absolutely. Okay, we had a public works meeting last night and a city council. Okay. Speaking of public works and the snow, I have yes. to say, cause they talked about the snow removal downtown. Nothing has changed. It was a very quick conversation and everything is staying as is and they'll revisit the topic in January. Okay. So, so they do not, they chose to do nothing. Correct. Right. It's a typical Tom Earl. Right. So, um, so there's they, that. Yeah. They'll be using the same, um, snow removal procedure yes. that they've always used and we'll see how that goes okay well i know that they had to convert all of the um, trucks for the snow this morning they were expecting the snow and they got them ready so brush pickup well today is the last day correct yes yep. and yes. um they are trying to hurry up and get that finished because the trucks that they do have for that have to go back to being a plow so they only left like one truck for the brush pickup left yes. today and then the rest were converted to plows for the roadway so they've been out working away on the roads but for the most part they're fairly decent so what else happened okay they also discussed um at the public works um they discussed the oh intersection over on bloomfield road town line road and yes Bluefield. correct but again no decisions they talked about it but it's been the same discussion and it's been pushed back again until right. january until they can get more hey why don't they give the project to tom to earl <laughs> we yes. can we can push everything back yes there was a lot of that yesterday yes. at the public works like there were no actual decisions made i don't think on anything on the agenda everything's right. been continued okay. and now with the holidays it's continued till january right and they also discussed the intersection over on uh, Main Street, Highway 50, yeah. and Edwards Boulevard. Now, that intersection over by the Walmart, Walgreens, the mobile station, Taco Bell. The most horrible intersection in, in Lake Geneva. Geneva. Yes. Um, so there's been some studies done on it, and Kapoor has been um, investigating on what can be done and what needs to be done. So there is a lot of issues, of course, with the mobile station, the entrances to that gas station right there is well that's just a mess and they're trying to decide how they can make that safer and they may need to do an easement they may need to add a left turn lane they may need to close some of the entrances to that gas station and change them some other way reconfigure them they're also concerned about the walgreens entrance that's really close to the actual intersection um, they want to add a medium in there somewhere and they also want to make more left turn lanes in all of the directions right. so a lot of changes could be happening over in that intersection but you're gonna have to wait for it it will yes. not happen until 2022 Correct. and more information is going to be gathered and more and ideas the road isn't quite wide enough for right. everything they want to do so they have to kind of pick and out, choose pick and yeah. choose and what's going to be the best option so I know everyone's been waiting to find out what's going to happen yes. with that intersection and things they are it's a work in progress so 2022 is when that's going to be looked at and started more um and then we had the city council meeting last night so one of the items on the agenda was the um, renewal of the emergency proclamation for the mayor here in lake geneva with all of the COVID and pandemic and it had ex it will it was due to expire last yes. night so they had to extend it which is fine it, they um, motioned to extend it to january 11th which is the january city council meeting which everyone agreed with but then cindy flower chimed in and wanted to amend the emergency prop proclamation and copy what the state is doing right now the state has shut down all city or all state employees and all meetings 
are being done virtually. All um, state paperwork is being done online. And all employees, all state employees are working remotely, which yeah. she wanted the city of Lake Geneva to follow suit with the state. What did they do? They all voted no. Okay. So, um, yeah, city, like hall, city Hall wouldn't have been open? No. Yeah. And all of the city employees? I mean, how do you even... I mean, that, that's a big... That's a big thing. Well, they voted no, so they it doesn't no. matter. So, Thank God. that did not go through. And um, they also talked about the, the second reading of the room tax rate increase, which did not go through. That will be extended till March. There was a lot of pushback from um, short-term rental people here in Lake Geneva and hospitality, like the Harbor Shores. There was a couple comments from them. They, yeah, there was two people for the increase in public comments and the rest were all against it. With the COVID and the room tax rate increase really low right now and just uh, um, occupancy rates really low right now. Yeah, they don't need to take another hit. They don't hit. need to take another hit. So right. that will not be happening right now. Um, however, there was, um, like the mayor was really concerned about the Tourism Commission getting the extra money that that would accumulate sure why um, she spoke of grants needed to be given out. Well, if they don't have grant money, they don't have grant money. Like, I don't see why that's... But anyway. Um, okay, and then they also talked about the Riviera Complex and the A lot the of renovations. decisions were made. I know. So, the first floor windows will be a, a shade of bronze. So they do not know exactly what shade of brown or bronze it will be. They're going to pick from a couple different selections that MSI will bring in. So that's been decided, final decision. The east and west doors will have glass inserts. Some of the interior doors will have glass inserts. So those big solid wooden doors will have a little um, way to bring some natural light in. So that'll be great. They also talked about the elevator. They are going to go with a brand new elevator, an Otis elevator, which has all the mechanics right in the shaft. So there will not be a need for a mechanical room, which will be wonderful. Yeah, and it's it, going to make a big yeah. difference. Um, and then the chandelier that was donated. Still do not know who donated that chandelier. It was anonymous. I know. Okay, some of the council members were concerned about the donation because of installation and maintenance of this grand, fabulous chandelier. But then MSI chimed in and, and let everyone know and reassured everyone that the, the total cost of the Riviera renovations included a new chandelier and the installation of it. So they will actually save money because they will not have to use money for a new chandelier. They have it. And um, installation was already in the, the final cost. So, so it all worked it out. It all worked out really well. And right now they have a little tiny disco ball yes, up here in the grand so ballroom. Yes, like Very odd. inappropriate. Yes. For, the chandelier for is much more. Right. And I believe the chandelier is like eight foot across. It looks Yeah, huge, the dimensions yes. are crazy. It is going to be spectacular up there. So a lot of final decisions were made and work's going to start. They need to be done by May 15th because there's a ton of events in May. Well, actually nine. I believe it's nine. That's which so is a lot. Good amount. So yeah. they need to get done by May um, 15th in order to accommodate all of the um, upcoming events. Up, yeah, upcoming events. Everybody's sort of gambling that the vaccine will be broadly uh, placed around the nation by then, huh? Or given to everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So. But anyway. Okay. I think that's it. Is that that's it? it. Okay, we're going to wrap this up. We probably have more to share, but we will do that later. No kidding. Hi, Lisa Otto. John Lovecast. And George Belushi Jr. And the Geneva Show Report. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.